Hi and welcome to our reports tutorial. I'm Kathleen and I'm going to cover all of our reports, how you access them, export formats and where the data comes from. So if you'd like to join me, we jump to the All tab and Reports on the top right hand side. You'll see that icon there. It's how you access all reports for all of your projects. Uh, and if you've created a group at any time, see I'll just jump to my group tab here, you also get a report section for those grouped projects uh, but for now let's just go through the reports under the all tab. So looking at each of these reports you see the first one is the portfolio status report so this shows you all of your projects the health of them how they're going against your budget and planned expenses and uh, time schedule. So you'll see my options here are just how I want this report to be sorted, either by project name, percentage complete, or the start and finish dates. So we'll select project name. You can choose to include only your open projects, or if you uh, uncheck this, then all of them. You can include the health chart, which is of course that traffic light indicator, your budget information. And on the right hand side with all of our reports, you can select the columns that you want to display in your report. So these are the columns that are in your task page, so your project plan. So if you want all of them, simply select all columns, or if you'd like to uncheck any of them, perhaps you don't want your risks, issues and changes to be displayed in this report, simply uncheck them and they won't show. So we'll tick all columns just so you can see what it looks like. And down the bottom here are all the options for exporting and running these reports. So for this report, I can view it on screen if I click this button. I can have it emailed straight to me. I can export it as a PDF document, which of course requires Adobe Reader, and Excel and Word formats. So these are very handy if you have other systems that you need to perhaps import this information to, or you need to do some further data manipulation, you can simply export to Excel and I'll work on it there. So let's view this report, uh, so I'll make it easy for you to see it on my screen. So here it is, and up the top here I can actually still export this report, so if you view it and you decide that really you do want a copy of it, simply click the export button and then you've got options on, you'll see Excel PDF or Word for exporting this. So my portfolio status, the health chart at the top, so this is for all my open projects, their traffic light indicator for time, resource, risks, issues, changes and cost. And as I hover over these indicators it tells me that, for example, this project here, 39% of my resources are under allocated. So this is a great view for all of my projects. As I scroll down it then sets all of the information for each of those projects their priority, their current status, the budget, all of the columns basically that I selected to uh, show on this report. Let's look now at the project status report, so that's the next report down. You see when you're in a report you still have the ability to jump to another report at the top or when you're in the report page you can simply select from the left any of the reports. The project status report of course gives you the status of your project, overall view of the health, how all of the uh, resources are tracking, your costs, your risk issues and changes, very much like the portfolio report but for an individual project. It also has an as of date, so this is really asking as of this date is the project on track, so you could pick a date in the past to see uh, where your project is at for that date, or of course a date in the future. So you simply choose the project that you want to report on, let's pick one of my projects, choose the date, let's leave it as default of course is today's date, here's what you can include, I'm going to select everything, so including all my overdue and due this week tasks, and on the right hand side again let's pick all the columns, but you can cut this down to customise for whatever kind of report it is you require. Down the bottom again you'll see all the export and view options, so I can have this emailed to me PDF to Excel or Word, but let's click view so that we can see it on screen. So you see this is a much more detailed status report for my project, at the top it gives me information on, high level information on how am I against my budget, against my time schedule, from a resource point of view how is my allocation looking, you see here 59% under allocated, the number of issues, risks and changes I have open, and my budget as well as obviously my planned start and finish dates. 
And as I scroll down, these are the tasks that are uh, overdue. I can see the planned cost, who those tasks are assigned to, when they actually started and their actual finish, as well as whether their milestones, their priority, actual cost and actual effort. And as we go down, it would show if I had tasks due this week, they would be here. Uh, you'll see how I've got some overdue risks as well as issues. And again, you can choose to um, unselect these if you don't want them to show in your report, but these are all of the options available. We'll go now to the third report. Now you'll see project plan. This report helps you see whether your project is on track. It takes your schedule and shows you when each task is planned to be completed and where you currently are against that plan. So again, this is an individual project report. You select a, report, a project, uh, what you want to include, what information, let's select everything again, so you can see all the columns displayed, and you select a date range. By default, this will be the planned start and finish date for your project, but you can, of course, change these. And again, all your export options are down the bottom. We'll hit view so you can see it quickly on screen. So you see this report summarizes all my tasks um, where they're currently at. It's a handy way to see uh, the planned start and finish dates and the actual start uh, dates for an actual effort against all of your tasks. You'll see as I scroll down as well, risks, issues and changes, because I selected those are also in here, and uh, the date they were raised, their impact likelihood, and their current status. So you'll see all of these risks, issues and changes are still open, and who they're assigned to. The same with, again, all of the tasks. You can see who they're assigned to and their percentage complete. At the top as well is the budget that I entered against my project and the cost to date. We'll go to the tasks report next. So that's the first one at the top in the middle of each of these sections. This again is a project specific report. So we select our project, what we'd like to include and which columns. I've got all selected again. The task report will show you all of your tasks on your project. You can obviously click to include all, or if you want to cut it down to customize it to perhaps just your late tasks, or you want to do a com task complete report, all these options are available here. You could also choose to run this by individual resource, so you could select assigned to and then select the resource, and that could of course be a person or uh, a room or a, a piece of equipment that you want to see those tasks that are assigned to them. You can select that here and uh, simply run that report. I'll uncheck that so that we get all of them. And you'll see the export options here are Word, Excel, or I can choose to have a PDF version emailed to me. And as with all of the reports, the top field here is title. You can actually change this. So if you need to have a uh, customized or a specific title to your report, you can simply enter that here and that will display on the report for you. Let's go to the timesheets report next, so that's the next one down. And as you expect, this allows you to extract all of your timesheets, either by users or for all of your users, and you can group this by project, by the, the user or date, or have no grouping at all. And you can choose to export timesheets by all of the projects or individual projects. So again, a really handy report if you want to see timesheets across perhaps all of your projects for an individual user and simply change, select the date range. And we'll choose all projects. Uh, we'll group by project. I'll select all my users and let's view that. You see again, there are all the export options down the bottom for me. And you can see that for this time period, for these users, under each of my projects, I chose to group by projects, so under my admin project, this, pro this project red six, etc. I can see for each of the tasks, for those users, on what date they entered their hours. So this is a great little timesheet report. Next, we'll go to the resources report. And the resources report gives you two options here. You can choose to view an availability summary or availability detail. At the summary level, this will show you for your resources how much time they've got assigned to tasks and therefore how much is left. And the availability detail will show me uh, their availability week by week, as well as, of course, the tasks that they're assigned to. So it's just that next level of detail for all of my resources. 
I can choose to select my project, which I'll pick here, the date range that I want to use, and all my export options. And again, of course, I could change the title of this report if I wanted. So we'll view this on screen so you can see what it looks like. So you see on the availability summary, for the time period I've selected, March, this is September, on this project, my sample project, my entire team has 40 hours each available on their calendar. They've not been assigned, so their availability is 40 hours each for that time period. We'll go back and run this at the summary detail. I'll pick a different time period so you can see some tasks assigned. And at the availability detail report, I can choose to view the report for an individual user, or group of users, or all of those resources. And again, I can report by the day, week, or month. We'll pick by week. And I can export, view, or um, email it out to myself a PDF. I'll export this into Excel. You'll see that obviously it'll just download into my browser there. I'll open that up. There we go. So I can see for each of my resources the weeks that are covered in that time period their availability, so their calendar availability is 40 hours. There is this person, of course, is assigned for 215 hours. So they're actually, <laughs> not only are they not available, but they're over allocated. Uh, the next one down, you'll see a better example because I've assigned them for 30 hours of their 40 available. So they have nine hours available in this week. We'll go to the next report now which is the workload report. So still related to resources, another view, uh, another way to look at how your resources are tracking, how they're allocated. And the difference between this report and the resource report is that this sets out the hours assigned in a calendar day by day view. That way you can see the total number of hours that each of your resources is assigned to tasks across all projects in your account. And then you can quickly and easily see who's under or over allocated on any particular day in the week. Uh, you can then change the tasks that they're assigned to to balance that workload out. Again, we have the workload summary and the workload detail and a date range. You can again email this to yourself as a PDF, Excel or Word, uh, and it works much the same as the resource report in that way. Let's go to the expenses report next. This report, as you'd expect, shows you all your expenses across your project uh, and whether you're under or over your budget. You can select on the right hand side your actual expenses and those are expenses that have been entered through your expenses tab on your project. You've got actual task costs, so those are your actual cost column on your tasks page of your project. Your resource, actual resource costs, so that's based on the actual effort they've undertaken on tasks multiplied by the hourly rate per resource that you have on your individual resource, or if you don't, then by the default rate on your project. You have planned task costs, so those are expenses you entered in your planned cost column on the task page as well, and planned resources cost, again, on your task page of your project. These are the planned effort uh, that you've put against those tasks, multiplied by the hourly rate of each resource. So we select the project that we want to view this for. I can, all my export options down the bottom, we'll click view on screen. So here, up the top of course, is summary information, my total budget, my total actual expenses, my total planned expenses. I have as well uh, detail here on the actual expenses that I've entered, who recorded them, the date they were incurred, and of course the type, which you can customize for yourself. There are actual task costs here, so a lot of detail on the start and finish date, the duration of those tasks and their cost. Further down the resource costs, any planned task costs and planned resource costs. So again, the planned resource costs are based on the planned effort spent undertaking tasks multiplied by the hourly rate per resource. And you see at the bottom, I have tasks that do not have resources assigned, so it's taken the default rate from my project. Uh, multiplied by the planned effort for those tasks and estimated that resource cost there. We'll go to the variance report next. So that's the second to last report. And this report compares for you how your project is tracking against either your plan or your baseline that you've set. I can select the project that I want to do this variation report for, including either summary tasks only uh, and percentage complete 
and here are my options on the right hand side. I can compare my actual to planned, actual to baseline, or my planned to baseline. So let's do actual to planned and view that online. So for this project, the variation between my actual and planned here for my start dates and my finish dates, of course, on these summary tasks, you see the difference column here. For my start date, for this task, for example, the design task, the difference between this actual start and the planned start is 42 days. And if you want to pull this report uh, for your actual or plan against your baseline and you haven't got a baseline, simply go to your task page and under your settings icon in your project, you can set a baseline and then you can obviously pull this variation report. Lastly, I'll show you the other report section where you can report on your risks, issues and changes on your projects. And you can choose to view this uh, report on this across all of your projects so that this can be a great report for looking at all of the changes perhaps raised across all of your projects and you simply again select what you want to include, risk issues or changes, the date range and the columns on the right to customise the information that comes into that report. So those are all of our reports and the ways to run them, how you can export and view them, as well as of course you can email any of the reports to yourself in a PDF format. Coming in a new release is the ability to schedule uh, reports on a regular basis. So I'm sure you're looking forward to that feature. Uh, if you've got any issues, questions or suggestions on how we could improve our reports, please contact us 